Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add an auction product in a WooCommerce website. Or if you want, you can also create an auction website. Let me show you an example of the auction product that I have created. Here you will see the product. This is the title of the product. This is the starting bid for the product. So the bid price is starting from $20. This is short description and if someone wants to buy this product without auction, they can click on buy now for $60. So they do not need to go through the bidding process. They can directly buy this product at $60. And if someone wants to bid for the product, then you will see that option here. Item condition is new and the auction will remain open for the next two days, 17 hours and 16 minutes. And it shows the auction ends on June 30. So this is the date and the time that we set up for this auction. And here it says reserve price has not been met. So there is a reserve price for this product. And below that price, we are not going to sell that product. So there is a reserve price for this bidding also. Currently, it is set to $20. And if I want to buy it, I can simply click on plus one. And the next bid price will be $21. And if I want to bid, I can simply click on bid and it will place the bid there. Here you will see auction history when the auction is started. Started. If there is a new bid, it will show that in the auction history. So we are going to use a plugin which will help us create an auction product on the WooCommerce website. Let me show you the plugin. This is the plugin WooCommerce Auctions WordPress Simple Auctions. This is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin. And here you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 7000 WooCommerce website. And the pricing of this plugin is only $49. So in just $49, you can create an entire auction WooCommerce website. You will also get six months support. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how we can create auction product in WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. I have already downloaded and installed this plugin. Let me show you. Let's go to the dashboard of the website and I'm on the plugins and here you will see the plugin is already installed. So you can buy the plugin from this website. I'll give you the link in the description box. Once you buy the product, you can download it on your computer. And after that, you can upload the plugin and install it on your WooCommerce website. Now, when you install this plugin, you will see an option here under WooCommerce Auctions Activity and Auctions Winners. So let's go to the products and we are going to create a new product. On this demo website, I have already created some products. So I'm going to click on Add New Product. Let's add a name for the product, Artifact Statues. So this is the product for which I'm going to create an auction. Let's add some description here. All right, so this is a description. Below that, you will see the product data. And for the product data, you will see a drop down. And at the bottom, you will see this option, auctions. So you need to select this option, auctions. When you select this option, you will see these options here item condition whether it is a new product or used product so i'm going to mark it as used product and the auction type will be normal or a reverse i'm going to set it to normal if you want to add proxy bidding you can enable this option starting price let's say i want to start the pricing for this auction from 15 dollars and bid increment will be one dollar and reserve price and for the reserve price, let's say I want to sell it not below $25. So the price of the bidding should go beyond $25. All right. So this is the reserve price. Now, if you want to sell this product, you can also add a buy now button, which will create an option to buy this product directly. And for that, you can also put a price. Let's say I want to make it $55 for the buy now button and the auction start date. Let's click on it and select the date. I'm going to select today's date and the auction will remain open for, for three days. So select 30, extend auction on bid. So it says if a bid is placed during the final moments of an auction, then the auction can be extended for a specified amount of time. This gives other bidders a chance to complete. Let's say your auction is about to end and in the last minute, if someone plays a bid, in that case, you can extend the time limit for this auction. Let's check this option and see extend auction in last 30 seconds. In this case, if someone plays a new bid in the last 30 seconds of your auction, 
then it is going to extend the auction for the next 60 seconds. So this is how it is going to work. All right, so I'm going to uncheck that option. This is for the product short description. Let's add some short description. I'm going to add some dummy data here. And below that we have automatic release auction, enable automatic relisting after n hours if the auction fails if there is no buyer then you can release the product for the auction all right so i'm going to keep it as it is for now in the right hand side we have categories so i'm going to create a new category here let's name it as auction all right so this is the category for this product let's add product image i have downloaded some sample images so i'm going to upload one of these images so this is the product for which we are going to create an auction all right, so everything else looks good. So I'm going to click on publish. All right, the product is ready. Let's open it. All right, so this is the product page. Here we have the featured image of this product. Then we have the title of the product. This is the category. The starting bid is $15. If someone wants to buy this product immediately, they can click on buy now and add that product to the cart. Then we have item condition is used. Time left for the auction is 2 days, 17 hours and 31 minutes. Auction ends on this is the time and the reserve price has not been met yet because we have set the reserve price to $25 and the starting bid is $15. If I click on plus sign, it is going to increase the bid by $1. All right, so this is how it works. Okay, so I'm going to make it $20 here and click on bid. So I'm going to bid for this product. All right, so it says successfully placed a bid for artifact statues. This is the name of the product. No need to bid. Your bid is still winning. So you are the only bidder right now. So it has shown that message. Now current bid shows $20. Okay, for this product, the current bid is $20. And if I go down auction history, you will see the auction history here. There is one bidder. And this is the username of the bidder. Then auction started. This is the time when the auction is started. So you will see the auction history here. I'm going to open this product in another browser where I'm not logged in. All right. So now you will see the current bid is $20. And if I want to buy, it is for $55. And if I want to bid, the price is $21. And again, auction history is there. All right. So let's go back to the products page here. And now let's go to WooCommerce and go to auction activity. It will now show the activity for this auction. You will see it here. So this is the product that we have for the auction. If I click on it, it will go to the product page. All right. And you can see the auction history from here. All right. Let's go back and uh, let's look for the auction winners. Right now, there is no auction winner. All right. Now I'm going to increase the bid here. Let's make it $27 and bid. All right. So now the current bid is $27, which is above the reserve price. You will see it. the reserve price has been met. And if I go to auction history, you will see two bids here. Now let me close this auction. Let's go back. Let's go to edit product. And let's see what happens when the auction is done. So let's change the date here. And publish it or update it. And let's go to product page. All right, so you can see that the winning bid is there. So this auction is completed and there is a winner for this product. Now here you will see, congratulations, you have won this auction. Now click on pay now. So I can go ahead and add this product to the cart and go to the checkout and make the payment for this product. All right, now let's go to auction winners, refresh it. And you will see that one auction winner is there. Total bids to one bidder. And this is the username of the bidder. So this is how you can add auction products on your WooCommerce website using the WooCommerce Auctions plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.